The all-new 2025 Nissan X Trail VS 2025 Kia Sorento Facelift, well let's start with Nissan. One of the advantages of buying a new car is that you can configure it to your liking. You know exactly what budget you have to fit into and, more than that, you tick the equipment you need. For example, you don't buy a car with a heated steering wheel if, say, you live in an area where temperatures don't drop below 10 degrees Celsius. Of course, what you will use the car for also matters a lot. Starting from everyone's hobby, the Auto Market editorial staff did an exercise in imagination and configured three versions of the new generation Nissan X Trail. The all new Nissan X Trail is developed on the CMFC architecture. The new Nissan X Trail can be ordered in Europe in both a five seat and seven seat configuration. The last row of seats, company representatives claim, can accommodate passengers with a height of up to 160 centimeters. With only two rows of seats in the normal position, the trunk has a loading volume of 585 liters, 20 liters more than before. In terms of design, the new X-Trail is a kind of Europeanized rogue. Customers have 10 exterior shades at their disposal, and inside they will find two 12.3-inch displays, one for the digital onboard instrumentation and the other for the multimedia system. Also here we have a 10.8-inch head-up display. Chairs covered in fabric are just as ideal. Of course, I could be more stubborn and go for the Tecna trim, which gets me leather-wrapped seats. However, the Nissan X-Trail is not a luxury car, and the leather tends to accentuate the temperatures in the extreme seasons, winter and summer. Until this moment, we have arrived at the price of €49,140. Obviously, my model is the five-seater version, perfect for friends and family. It is certain that for this money I received almost all possible equipment, full LED headlights, three-zone climate control, two 12.3-inch screens each, for the dashboard instruments and the multimedia system, sequential LED indicators, LED fog projectors, 19-inch alloy wheels, 10-speaker Bose audio system, 15W wireless charger, electric tailgate, electrically adjustable seats with memory for driver and passenger, fully automatic parking system, automatic control of the steering wheel and accelerator pedals accelerator and brake, parking sensors for the side, panoramic roof with power sunroof, steering wheel and heated seats. But to get to those places you need a four-wheel drive car. That's exactly why I opted for a Nissan X-Trail E4 ORCE, the five-seater variant, because the seven-seater is too much for me, and received, as a package, the E-Power engine. Electrified engines. The new generation X-Trail is the second model in the European portfolio of the Japanese brand that can be ordered with the E-Power propulsion system. It is based on a 1.5-liter petrol engine, with three cylinders, but which, in short, generates the electrical energy needed for a battery, this energy being then transmitted to an electric motor. Power rises to 213 HP in the case of the version equipped with the E4 or SAL wheel drive system. The range of engines also includes a micro-hybrid version. Along with the same 1.5-liter engine, we also have a small auxiliary electric motor that works on 12 volts, thus obtaining 163 HP and 300 Newton meters. This alternative comes exclusively in two-wheel drive version with Xtronic transmission, CVT. The new generation Nissan X-Trail can already be ordered in certain European markets. For example, in Italy it starts from 38,080 euros. Nissan claims that because of this, the new X-Trail can be driven like a true zero emissions car and that the 330 newton meters is delivered instantly. New Kia Sorento Facelift, Revised Exterior Design and Curved Interior Display The Asian automaker has published the first images and information about the new Sorento Facelift. The SUV debuted with a revised design and a new interior. The fourth-generation Kia Sorento debuted about three years ago. Even so, the Asian automaker has decided that now is the time for a facelift, at least in its home market of South Korea. Of course, 
versions for the other markets will be presented in the near future. First of all, the Kia Sorento facelift proposes a revised exterior design, in tune with the latest models such as the EV9 or Picanta facelift. The South Koreans have borrowed a number of aesthetic elements from the larger Telluride SUV and now offer a 35mm longer wheelbase, while the rest of the dimensions have increased by about 10mm. The front grille has also received a new interpretation from the designers, while the LED daytime running lights have a new light signature. From a technical point of view, the new Sorento will be available in three versions. The only classic version is the diesel one, with a 2.2-liter engine and 202 HP, while the range will also include two electrified systems for the first time. Thus, the Sorento will have a plug-in hybrid version that includes a 1.6-liter gasoline engine and a 60 HP electric motor that generates a total of 230 HP, while the battery has 1.5 kWh. Also, shortly after the launch of the first two versions, the Sorento will also be available in a 265 HP plug-in hybrid version with a 16.6 kWh battery. It will only be available in four-wheel drive, while the diesel and plug-in hybrid versions can be configured with both four-wheel drive and 4x2. Four For the moment, the new generation Kia Sorento will be available with two engines. Customers will be able to choose a 2.2-liter diesel unit with 203 horsepower and 440 newton meters, and a variant with a hybrid propulsion system. The latter develops 230 horsepower and consists of a 1.6-liter gasoline engine and an electric motor. Last but not least, the new Kia Sorento includes an improved cruise control system, autonomous parking function and a blind spot monitoring system by using the camera mounted on the side mirrors and confirming the images on the dashboard. We have LED headlights, narrower and positioned vertically, the specific Kia grille, revised front spoiler, slightly redesigned hood, new shades for the exterior and a new design for the alloy wheels. At the back we notice a revised spoiler, new Kia emblems and modified LED taillights. For the interior of the new Sorento facelift, Kia has prepared a curved display that integrates two 12.3-inch screens, one for the digital instrument panel and the other for the multimedia system that comes with the latest software version. The air vents are now narrower, and the climate system controls remind you of the EV6. In terms of technology, the icing on the cake is undoubtedly the fingerprint authentication system. It is located on the central console and allows starting the car but also the possibility to pay with the fingerprint. In the local market, the Kia Sorento facelift is offered with petrol, diesel and hybrid engines. In the other markets, the Sorento facelift could receive a plug-in hybrid powertrain.